perfect. Not worth the paper it's printed on. <laughs> 30 cents on the dollar, Mr. Haas. It's a deal. Where the hell is the backup? This thing is gonna fall apart. Don't lock it. Maybe I'll find something I like on the way home. too, Russ. You're suspended. You can't dump me while Haas is still alive. You can't. Haas is not your problem anymore. You nearly sunk me and the whole squad. You had to go in first, didn't you? You had to take him out all by yourself. Damn you, Russ. You got a cop killed. Just get the hell out of here. custody without charge following his arrest earlier tonight. It's now official that the police officer killed during the botched raid was Detective Irene Savar. No word yet as to the identity of the other victim, 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 the other victim.
left at home. What the hell you want? Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, can I uh, help you? I'm not sure. I'm looking for Mickey Foster. Is she around? Uh, she's not here right now. She isn't. No. Ryan, I couldn't find the jelly babies, but I... Hi. and Ryan Dalian. Ryan, this is my friend, Tim Ayres. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. God. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's been ages. Yeah. How did you find me? Oh, your dad. He, he gave me the address, but he didn't say anything about this place. It's interesting. Well, my father doesn't relish the fact of me being a storekeeper. It's but... nice, though, nice and quiet, right? I mean, not, not a lot of neighbors, I guess. Yeah, it's peaceful. Listen, I was wondering if maybe you could help me out. I, I was trying to find a place to stay for a couple of days. Stay here? Really? I mean, are you sure? I, I don't want to be... Uh... Oh, no, it's it's fine. Ryan doesn't mind. Sure, fine. Oh, great. Um, well, where should I put my bag? Don't worry about that. Ryan will take care of it. Thanks. Well, I'm going to go out for a little bit. I got a couple of things to take care of, and then I'll be back, and um, we'll talk. Nice to meet you, Brian. Ryan. Right. See ya. Yeah, sure. Ryan will take care of that. Kind of sudden, isn't it? No. No, it's not kind of sudden. He's a friend. An old friend. Yeah, so old he can't even carry his own bags. Gwen, honey, you may not believe this, but I got one of them. I nailed one of those animals. <laughs> I killed him with this badge. Just like that. No wound, nothing. Just like that. I didn't get Haas, but now I can. I know I can. All I have to do is be careful and patient. Very, very patient. How come you're so hard to find, Raul? Hey, Sharko, what do you mean? I, I, I just got your message. Where's Haas? Hey, what? Do I look like his personal secretary? <coughs> now, talk to me, Raul. You always talked to me before. What the hell are you trying to do? I'm going to ask you once more. Where's Haas? Look, Sharko, you're off the street now, man, OK? Everybody knows that. Me, I got the rest of my life out here, all right? Now, 
if anybody even sees me talking to you, Haas will cut my heart out. What makes you think I won't? All right, look. All I know is Haas is getting ready to split right now because he don't like the way you guys been harassing him. Now, the word is he's going to stay away until things cool down. Now, that's all I know, I swear. Where, punk? When's he leaving? I got nothing for you. I don't listen. What are you trying to do to me? If I knew, I'd tell you. Ah, oh, you scum. I like the paper, but I still can't move more than two and a half a week, say, at, uh, 20 cents. Forgive me, Mr. Haas, but I know a little bit about your organization. You could move eight, maybe nine a week. That quality paper, my people are going to want at least 48 cents on the dollar. You sound like a very confident man. I am. I can move that paper anywhere, anytime. You don't want it, just tell me. How come you want to do business with me? Because, Mr. Haas, we're looking to get into business in this town. We're trying to find someone who's got connections and who we can trust. We're going to start big and get bigger. And I'm your man. You could be. Or someone like you. There's nobody like me. That's what I've heard. You do your homework, Mr. Ayers. I like that. You understand, I can't make a commitment until I do a little uh, checking out on my own. Anyway, those are details. We're gonna do business, right? I hope so. How about a little champagne? We toast the future. To the future. What's with you two, anyhow? Let's just say that we spent a lot of time together once. <sighs> Why did you tell him he could stay? Couldn't he afford a hotel? Aren't all your friends yuppie success stories? Oh, and if he were a friend of yours, it would be different, of course. Hey, at least my friends need the help. You said it, not me. <laughs> Hi. How is everyone tonight? Huh? Tim, would you like some tea? Tea? Yes, great. OK, I'll make you some. Um, I need to use the phone for a second. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's on the desk. Thanks. It's me. No, no, no. Everything's fine. Yeah, I made the connection. I think we're ready to deal. No, don't worry about that. They couldn't find me if they tried. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know. Mick, how's that tea coming? So, what would you like? Morning dew, pantry and tingler, peppermint, or stress away? Mm. You always knew how to calm me down, didn't you? knew how to make an entrance. I don't think your cousin likes me. He's just not used to house guests. Am I causing a problem? Are you kidding? Why didn't you write? Truth is, I'm a chicken. 
When things get serious, I run away. And why did you come? I wanted to see you. I had this dream about last summer. It was so incredible. Oh, God. I blew it, didn't I? No, you didn't. Oh, look. Look what I, look what I found. Do you remember that? I'd forgotten. Yeah, I went back and got it after you left. I remember how I broke this. Found out last night, honey. Haas is leaving town. And I gotta find a way to stop him. He's slick, Gwen. Slick and nasty. He's got all these goons hanging around him all the time. And I'm not worried. His time is coming soon. He's a sick and evil people, Gwen. And they have to be dealt with. They're everything that's wrong with this country. You know that? Everything. Yeah. That's better, isn't it? Huh? Isn't that pretty? Good. on your locker? It's already done. Look, Russ, I'm sorry. But you brought this one on yourself. I just couldn't grease it for you. You and me go back a long way, Tommy. We've been through a lot together. I need your help. I want you to get me next to Haas. Please, just get me in the same room with him. Are you nuts? We bust him and the guy walks before the paperwork is done. There's pressure from higher up. We're all getting it. If you had any guts, you'd do it. Like in the old days, it was simple. There were cops and there were crooks. Today, I can't tell the difference. Get out of here, Russ. You're finished. Trap the moon in your eyes, shaking dreams of what are you doing? Writing. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Did you sleep okay last night? I mean, I was a little worried, you know, what with a stranger in the place and all. Oh, I'm just answering some mailers. I thought perhaps we could get back to work. Oh, good. Yeah. Let Jack know we've been doing some work while he's gone. Did uh, your friend uh, Tim happen to mention why he wanted to stay here? No. Why? I don't know, I just thought it was kind of weird that all of a sudden he shows up and... Actually, I overheard a phone conversation. He was talking about uh, uh, connections, deals. Cock. And not being able to be found, and that didn't quite sound normal to me. Ryan, don't. I don't care what the hell you think you heard. You're not going to go pawing through his stuff. Look, I may be wrong. I hope I am. But this guy's not your basic Boy Scout. Ryan, don't do this. I know that you don't like him, but this is really low. Mickey, what if it was one of my friends and he was acting like this? Is he really the same Tim that you used to hang around with? Come on, think about it. OK, go ahead. This guy's major leagues. What else is in there?
Who is that? I don't know. He, he looks familiar. I saw him on the news the other night. He was involved in that shootout where that lady cop got killed. Mickey, what would Tim be doing hanging around with a guy like this? I don't know. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a very lazy fox. He thought if he just uh, sat there by their hole and waited until they got very hungry, they'd eventually come out and he'd uh, grab them. He wouldn't even have to move. <laughs> but while he just sat, the mice dug a hole out back, never to be seen again. That's why 48 is too high. I can go 30, and that's it. You can pass my paper at a bank, Mr. Haas. You're not going to find quality better than that anywhere in this town. I know you paid 35 for wallpaper. Someday we're going to have to have a talk about where you get your information. Let me make it easy for you. I'll give you two and a half this week, promise you three for the next week. It'll be the same quality. You can pass this stuff through here so easy. Chaco. I had him. I was so close I could smell him and I missed. I'm sorry, Quinn. I'm really sorry. I know we don't have much time. Sheriff Starr sold to Herbert Coover. Now, Jack said there were some uh, articles in the file here. Ah, here we go. Arms enthusiast Herbert Cooter, 38, of 118 Frank Road, was killed early this morning in a gun battle with police. Does it say anything about the badge? Uh, Cooter, dressed in Western costume and claiming to be the reincarnation of Jesse James, held police at bay for more than an hour. Detective Thomas Vanderbeck successfully entered the house and fired the fatal shots. 
Cooter is believed responsible for a series of bizarre murders in which the cause of death could not be clearly established and victims were marked with star-shaped brands. A large collection of Wild West clothing and weapons were confiscated. Nothing about the badge. But all that stuff would be in police store, right? Hi. What's going on? Why were you at that club tonight? Tell me, damn it, was it drugs? Look, Mickey, I can't tell you anything. I can't get you involved, either of you. If you want me to go, I'll get my bags and get out of here. Mickey, it's not what you think. If you could just let This me... was all one big lie, wasn't it? Right from the beginning. It wasn't a lie. You set this whole thing up, didn't you? Oh, Mick, it's so good to see you. Why did you have to use me like that? I wasn't like using you. You were always such a bad liar. Tell me, do you get a kick out of setting me up? Oh, I know. You just happened to be in the neighborhood and you decided to drop by and tear me apart. Look, Mickey, if that's what you want to think, go ahead. But I came here to see you. But if you think this whole thing was a game, well, maybe it was. I almost forgot why I left you in the first place. Now I remember. Get the hell out of here. Mickey. Hey. I'll get my stuff. Maybe I'm confused, but uh, someone want to tell me how that cop could come in here and roust me? Here? In my own place? Huh? Come on. You want to tell me how my operation could get so loose that someone off the street could get in here and kill one of my people? Somebody I love and raised in this business. Somebody who is a brother to me. You want to tell me why I should keep paying your salaries? Why I should take care of your families? You think this is a game? Taking my money and hanging me out to dry? That's like... That's like stealing from your own families. Well, Sally never took his eyes off his job. So he was left out there alone. Somebody let his guard down. You! You were supposed to make sure nobody came in here while I was doing business. You make me look bad. <laughs> I hate to look bad. I'll tell you this. I get any more trouble from that bum Sharko between now and when I get on the plane. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Captain Vanderbeck? Yeah, I'm Vanderbeck. Look, I'm just on my way home. This won't take long. Uh, about three years ago, you were involved with a serial killer. Herbert Cooter? You're from the press. No, no, we just want to know about a badge that you confiscated during the Cooter case. What badge? Uh, Sheriff Starr. How do you know about that? Well, we saw it at the Haas Club last night. This old guy around 55-ish, gray hair, pockmarks, glasses, he had it. Ah, uh, I don't know anything about it. Look, I'm sorry. I have to excuse me. I gotta go. That was something. Thank you.
Yeah? I need to talk to someone about a lost wallet. Just a moment. Hello. Yeah, I left my wallet at your club. I got a call, someone turned it in. It had 45 bucks in it. 40. Yeah, 40. How about I come over and pick it up? Tomorrow, about four. Thanks. Four a.m. It's gonna give us 40 cents on the dollar for 600 grand worth of bad paper. Let's do it. shoving your way in here. I got, I got stuff to do. Yeah. Have anything to do with Haas? <laughs> Haas is your responsibility. I'm just an average citizen, remember? Think you arranged that? I got nothing to say to you. Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone. A couple kids came into my office tonight, Russ. Asked me about a badge. What badge? That's what I said. Then I got to thinking. Remember that serial killing a couple years ago? Herbert Cooter, a guy that thought he was Jesse James. We found a body outside of Haas's club the other night, a Cuban. Must have missed that. He had a burn mark, shaped like a sheriff's badge, right about here. Really? Yeah, just like the Cooter case. And your old friend, Raul, showed up in the river last night, same mark. Pretty interesting, huh? Must have been a virus or something, huh? And another one turned up tonight. Same thing. That burn mark. Look, Tommy, I ain't got time for chit chat. Except there were witnesses. Witnesses? <laughs> then you'll have no trouble nailing the guy. You owe me better than that. <laughs> so, what do you want to do, huh? Who gets hurt? What kind of slime are we talking about? Some goons that get off breaking guys' legs? Dope dealers? Pimps? Numbers? What? Huh? Who's to say we're not a community service? It doesn't matter who's doing it. Killing is killing. Russ, I understand. You got cause to hate Haas for what he did to Gwen. It's a long time ago. I want you to come downtown with me. You got back up out there? No. Oh. You're dumber than I thought you were. I thought I was coming to see my partner. You threw your partner out in the street, remember? You used up your credit. Go on, get out of here. You ain't gonna haul me down to downtown like some common criminal. Get out of here! That's it. Why the hell are you making me do it this way? Huh? Look, we've been fighting this for years. Please. The guy's getting away, don't you understand? The son of a bitch is leaving town and I can stop him. I can put him down. Nobody will trace him to me, believe me. It's perfect. I can get away with murder. You gotta choose. It's either him or me. I warned you. I warned you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Hans? I don't know any cause. Hey! Where is he? Where is he? This is your last chance. 
the docks. Where in the docks? Where in the docks? Two sixteen. That's all I know. You sure? Yes, I swear. <laughs> Where the hell is Sharko? It's all connected, Ryan. It has to be. Mr. Haas, you ready to do business? Got the paper right here. Get over here. I can't see you.
it's done. I'll say. Anything I can do? Get you some tea? Guess Tim was one of the good guys after all, huh? But you didn't like him. No, no, I liked him. I just never got a chance to, uh... We never really... What? All right, all right, I was jealous. Yeah, he was too slick. It was too much competition for me, I guess. You're pretty good to me. 